As you may know, I recently picked up a 2024 Taxa Tiger Moth camper trailer, and this is the slide out galley kitchen. I had a chance to test out the kitchen during my maiden voyage up to Tennessee, but now I've been able to really start loading this trailer out. With the Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo right around the corner, I focused my attention on getting the kitchen set up as dialed as possible. The Tiger Moss kitchen fits a lot of functionality into a very compact package. The included Primus Kenya camp stove rests atop the customizable storage compartment during transit. The food prep service to the right hides a slide out sink for washing dishes. And underneath both of those is a storage area to hold larger items. Although it's a custom edition, this Expedition Essentials paper towel holder feels right at home with this setup. I'm pretty excited to use the kitchen with everything fully deployed and the awning extended above. Let's take a closer look at how I have this packed for the Save Expo in a couple weeks. And here we have my coffee set up. Uh, this is a little storage tube from Vessel. Uh, I got this with my Vessel grinder in here. Uh, so this is a nice little coffee grinder. I have a little coffee scale back there. An AeroPress Go so that I can make a nice cup of coffee. Uh, two REI mugs, one that my wife got me a few years ago that I love. This is my main camping mug. Life outdoors is a life well lived. So, I have some bowls and plates. I really like these bowls. These are from um, Hydroflask. They're like plastic on the bottom, metal, so they don't bang around. And a little folding pot, a little folding pan, some Target utensils, all soft there. A couple of sets of forks, uh, fork knife, fork knife, magware. Uh, they were on sale at REI. I don't think I would have paid full price for them. But, uh, and then a set of chopsticks because, you know, I like good ramen. Some... A little shot glass, hopefully I get some more shot glasses eventually. And uh, in the back here, let's see if we can kind of find a way to angle ourselves in there. A couple of plastic bags. And some uh, stainless steel cups. So this is like my little bulk storage here. Um, so I have my Coleman camp oven. You can bake anything that you can bake in a normal oven for the most part on your stovetop. And then I've got some trash bags, uh, some foil pans, and I'm still working on stuff. Obviously, I keep my paper towels in here, but uh, the camper build out or load out rather is uh, still a work in progress. So, but I just wanted to give a quick video of what my camp kitchen setup looks like uh, going into the Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo. I spent a little time picking up some odds and ends, like this new little paper towel holder, which I think is super cool. The new plates. Um, I've always used a very small pot before I got my camper, but now, you know, I thought I'd up my pot size just a little bit since me and my wife will be out together more often. So, yeah, man, this is the setup. Uh, if you have any comments on what you bring when you go camping in either your teardrop, square drop, or just your overland rig, Please put them in the comments below. I'd love to see your setup. I'm still working on in here. Um, nothing much going on here right now. Still thinking about little things I can do. I added a big cargo net to the back so that I can throw my pillow and blanket up there during the day and still have all of the space. One thing I see that people do with the Tiger Moth that I don't love is that um, people do a full-time bed setup and that just to me kind of kills a lot of the like multi-purpose functionality of the tiger moth because you can sit in here and work or eat at the table and it's like 
if I wanted just a bed teardrop, I would have just got, you know, any other teardrop on the market. So I don't think I'll be going that route. I'll definitely be trying to play to the Tiger Moth strengths with, and this is one of the main reasons I got it. But anyway, guys, today was just a quick tour of my little camp kitchen. Hopefully maybe you saw something that you find interesting uh, or you have a suggestion for me on how I can improve. I definitely still have a little space in here to add some stuff. And so if you have anything, please leave it in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube-y things. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.